Hi, hi, you guys. It's another beautiful day in Colorado. I drove up about eight minutes up the highway, just up past the Air Force Academy to the Monument Goodwill. Um, I haven't been here for probably about a month. Let's see. It's got the lodge style decor facade anyways that's kind of popular in Colorado. Okay, I'll see you inside. So this is the one that still has the Deja Blue Boutique. Let me zoom in on that for you guys. They tried that a while ago, putting that section in some of the Goodwills and where they would like try to curate it with um, antiques and vintage and what they thought was collectibles and higher end stuff. I think that's the only one left in my area, but up in Denver they still have the whole Deja Blue store. I mean, the whole store is curated with, you know, what they consider higher end stuff. Okay, let's get started. That's cute. Is that a cookie jar or something? AI. <laughs> Los Angeles Pottery, USA. Only $5.99. Looks in pretty good shape. Yes, let's get that. Oh look, a potato. Now that's a big one. There's always a potato. But that's a huge one. <laughs> $3.99. Oh my goodness. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. I've already gratuitously bought a potato. A ceramic potato. <laughs> okay. That one's got a lot of chips. Some kind of compote. But out of curiosity, but out of curiosity, let's see what it is. Italy. It's kind of what I was leaning toward. That's kind of cool. I wish it wasn't shipped. So, um, I haven't gone into Deja Blue yet because that's the lady. You can't see her, but she's working on it right now, curating. So we'll wait and then do that one. I was looking at furniture and I did grab, we're getting ready to do this, hang on. I did grab a cool lamp. Now it's not real old or anything, but I like the, like the art deco with the acrylic. So this is kind of like a good design for what's popular again now. Nice and sleek. It's only $7.99. It had a funky lampshade on it. I took it off and left it here. All right, here we go. All the little doodads. I see some Tonella. $2.99. Pan America. Okay, he's cute. I'm going slow enough for you guys. Grab bag. Wait a minute, I just want to see it. Styrofoam, decorated styrofoam balls with little butterflies. I like that. Does anybody do butterflies for Christmas? <laughs> Wait, you guys can't see it. There you go. Little sheer plastic iridescent butterflies. Oops, I rang the bell. You see that. You see barns painted with advertising to make money. Sheila. Oh, there's actually two of them. That might be worth something. Let's set that in the purse for just a minute. We'll just check it at the end of the aisle. I won't hang on to it forever. Little tiny teapot. Oh, a little hugger. That's cute. 
<laughs> Two ninety nine made in China. Adorable. Some kind of little trophy thing. Wait a minute, faces are behind me. Whoops. Just let me take a quick peek so I don't miss anything while well, I'm not paying attention. Let's see what that is. Yellow's 30% off. $9.99 and 30% off, so that's what, $3 off? It's a little dirty, but I don't see any chips or cracks so far. Hmm. Looks like a piece of Asian glass, but it's nicely done. Where am I going to put that? <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me finish faces real quick because you know that's my favorite. That's a little dirty too, but I'll take it over and try to clean it up and see if it's any good. Frosted. I'll see if that comes off. $5.99. Starbucks. Striped bowl. For Starbucks, huh? Yeah, we better see if that cleans up. I see something else too. Oh, you're pretty. Oh my goodness. You're heavy too. $7.99. Oh my gosh, you are gorgeous. It's got some flaws in it, so I don't know whose it is. The label's off of it. That's okay. We'll figure it out at home. I love it. Did you guys get a good look? It's beautiful. Okay, I got it all settled. There's some more of these. I'll check it at the end of the row. I will. I always love seeing dart. Dollar fifty nine. Do you guys remember the big one, the giant one that I found when George was here at New Horizons? It was like humongous, like a big old wine jug or something. I bought it for him. Another potato. This one has the spoon. Dollar ninety nine. Debbie and David, 1981. I think I'll get one more because that one has the spoon in it still. This piece is so great. It's missing the top. And even though it's clear, $10. Hmm. It's so great. I'm sure you could find something to put in there. It might not match. Maybe you could figure out whose this is. That's a pretty distinctive bottom base. Mid-century mod. Hardware on it. Oh gosh, $10. I should probably go ahead and get that. That's just cool. Sure wished it was colored glass though. Let's put it in the cart and think about that. Here, sorry, let me back up and show you. That is so cool. I have no idea where in the cart this is going to go. I need to go buy a blanket or something or a shirt so I can protect things. Okay, some decisions. Here's the verdicts. These two are $2.99 a piece. Apothecary jars. And I think these are Lily Vernon. I'm not sure. Some people on eBay say theirs are Lily Vernon retro vintage, but they seem to be like oh, average $30. So I'll get those. But these little 90s houses by Sheila, anywhere from five to eight dollars a piece. And how? And they're $2.99 a piece, so I think I'll leave those for someone else. So I backed up to put those items back, and she had added that while we were gone. Now it's just made in China, but that's a fantastic piece. I've sold smaller ones before. Some people try to say Murano, you know how that is. Anything art glass and cool, they say it's Murano, but these are actually made in China made for different companies so it's ten dollars but this is one time i won't balk at that price because i know that's going to sell i paused to get something to drink so 
that's all I paid for so far as the drink, but I noticed up by the register they had a bunch of like free boxes and bubble wrap. So that solved that problem. But this is one of the locations that still has a jewelry counter. It's next to us, so we'll look at it in a second. But look at all the jewelry bags. $50. But there's a yellow one, so that's 30% off. There's a yellow one back there, yellow tag. I just am uncomfortable paying that much. And there's another yellow tag. Next week, the yellow ones will be half off if they're still here. Anyways, if you're local, I'm at the Monument Goodwill. Okay, next cases. A little bit of jewelry. A lot of Vera Bradley. Coach, coach, coach. Michael Kors and Fossil. I kind of like that assemblage. Can you see it? It's some rocks and some mica slabs for the wings. Something cute somebody made. Looks like a German piece. Yeah, Goebel. Not a lot of jewelry. I guess they decided to bag most of it up. There's just a little snag on the back of them. Because most of them feel like, besides the COVID, you know, the pandemic shutdown, um, a lot of them feel like it's just a waste of employee time to stand there and show us jewelry. Okay, she's still working in the Deja Blue, so we'll go do something else, and then we'll check that. She's adding stuff. Well, now, if you had a little bit of money in the late 80s, early 90s, this was a brand. Definitely. They, it was This one was made for the cachet store, which was in the malls, and a little bit pricier, not super high-end. And then most of the boutique, trendy boutiques sold this brand. Their jumpsuits, their blazers, embellished stuff. It's lined and everything. <laughs> Underarms look okay. There it is again. I don't know if they're still making stuff or not. I was in Dallas at the time. All the fancy North Dallas women wore this brand. $6.99. It's not very clean though. That, I, you can't see it, but I can. I'm going to have to leave it. But see, they used better rhinestones that actually have the covers. Those are like Boreal's. They might even be Savorsky. I didn't say that right, but you know what I mean. Let me zoom in again so you can see. See better quality rhinestones for the time when all that bling was popular again. Keeps recycling. I think we just did rhinestone bling again, what, late 90s, early 2000s? Little Chanel quilting. I might come back for that. Just checking rounder tops, and while I'm doing that, I peek at fabrics and I'm waiting for her to get done putting out all the cool new stuff in Deja Blue. Okay, we're in the Deja Blue part. I hope she's going to get some stuff because this isn't really too much different than what's, you know. Maybe they just don't have anything right now to put in here that's different. This isn't the kind of stuff I usually pick up. There is a Starbucks state mug. You are here or something like that. Well, this isn't this is kind of cute. 7.99 30% off. Looks kind of made for a floral department, but that's cute. So let's see, three times eight. What is that? Two forty off. That's actually not bad. That's not too bad. Um, I think I'll pass though. Get in there. Okay. 
checking the art before I go check out. I've got to stop at another Goodwill, the one by my house, um, to pick up something for a viewer. Now, if these Hirschfields were signed, they are from the 90s. Those would be worth a lot of money. <laughs> but they're just prints, just like photocopies. But I think I will get this. <laughs> this is funny. All those different patches. Those patches sell for about five to seven dollars. It's five ninety nine. So I think I'll get it. <laughs> Just put it in my booth, okay? There's some South Park donut police, pancake, cappuccino. It's cute. All right, you guys. I'm pretty satisfied with everything I got today. It was fun. It's always worth running up here. So. I will check out now and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.